So today we'll be preparing chicken divan. Chicken divan is a quick recipe with most of the things that you already have on hand. Our ingredients today will be our light mayo. We have plain low fat yogurt, instant white rice, our shredded cheese, zesty salt free seasoning, 10 ounce cans of chicken, and of course our broccoli. So before we get all that done, let's give our hands a wash. We want to make sure our water is warm. So of course you want to wash your hands for 20 seconds, as long as the sink takes to sing the happy birthday song, or most kids learn the tops and bottoms song. So give it a nice lather and give it a rinse. And it's good to rinse down, that way you'll get the soap going down your hand and it won't go back up your arm. So let's get our cup of water. And we're gonna go ahead and add our water. To our water, we're gonna head and add our cup of broccoli. And it's a good thing to buy more broccoli than needed because it's a lot cheaper. And you can always just tie it back up with a twisty tie or put it in the freezer bag to put it back in the freezer, but it'll save you money for when you need to get more broccoli into your other recipes. So our broccoli, we're just gonna go ahead and put it in our water. And we just want our broccoli to steam up before we add our instant rice. Now in this recipe, we're using a salt-free seasoning. The salt that we add to our food is only 5% of the salt that we had, have on a daily basis. So that means 90 to 95% of the salt that we ingest comes from our food already. So let's go ahead and measure out our salt-free seasoning. And we're just gonna add that right to our broccoli. And it's good to go ahead and add to your broccoli, add to your water, that way when you put your rice in, everything will already be seasoning up real good for you. So we're just gonna wait for our broccoli to cook and our water to come to a boil. We're just going to cover that. While we're waiting for our broccoli to get ready, we're going to go ahead and make our creaminess to our chicken divan. Now most chicken divan recipes that you get or uh, meals that you get will, hum will have cream of chicken or cream of uh, mushroom soup added, but we know those have a lot of sodium in it. So instead of using the cream of chicken, we're going to make our own cream. So what we're going to use is two tablespoons of mayo. And then also two tablespoons of plain yogurt. Plain yogurt is an excellent substitute for sour cream. It's less fattening and less salt in it. And it doesn't have flavor. So no one would know the difference. And you want to make sure when you get your plain yogurt, you give it just a little stir on top just to get everything mixed in together before you add it in. So we have one and two. So we're just gonna give that a stir. And you wanna make sure that you incorporate that real well you don't want half of it tasting like yogurt and half of it tasting like mayo. So let's see if our broccoli is boiling here. It is steaming, which is awesome. So we're just gonna give it a quick stir. Oh, if you can smell what's going on here. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and add our white rice. Now you don't have to use instant rice if you like, but this is just a little quicker just to get the job done because we know when we come home with those kids, nobody wants to sit around and wait about 30 minutes for rice to get cooking. So we're going to use the instant rice. That'll take about five to seven minutes to cook. And we're going to add that right into our broccoli. And I just like to shake it on around so I can make sure that every piece of rice gets wet. So 
oh, let's just give that a quick stir. Wish it had smell -o -gram, so you guys can smell what's going on in here. It smells so good. So, while we put that on, one of the stars of this recipe is our canned chicken. Canned chicken is just basically your white chicken breast that comes in a can. So remember, we're always going to wipe off our cans before we use them with a damp cloth. And we're going to drain that juice off there. Because the juice that comes in our canned chicken is mainly sodium. So we're just going to pour that right on out. And as you can see, you see a lot of juice comes out of there. And you definitely don't want that. And of course, in your recipe at home, you don't have to use canned chicken. If you have chicken on hand or turkey or anything, meat that you already have prepared, you can definitely use that too. But canned chicken is something good. It lasts a long time in your cabinet. And it's just a good meat to already have on hand. It's high in protein, so you're definitely going to get that nutritional value with that. So see all that juice that comes out of there. So while our can, our chicken is still in our can, off our spoon here. We're just gonna break up some of those pieces to make sure that the chicken distributes evenly into your recipe. These cans that we're using here, these are only five ounce cans, so we're gonna use two to make sure that we get our 10 ounces of chicken in our recipe. Let's check on our rice. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our chicken into that. Make sure we get all that chicken out of there. Oh, we missed a little piece. And we're gonna add our creaminess. So remember, we're using light mayo and yogurt mixture instead of using those cans of cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup. Now let's give that a stir and get everything mixed up here. You want to make sure that that cream is distributed evenly because you don't want to get a spoonful of just cream. So have you guys ever heard of the DASH diet? The DASH diet is the dietary approach to stopping hypertension, which is also considered high blood pressure, which this recipe is very good for patients or anyone that has high blood pressure because it's very low in salt because we do not use salt in here at all. So that is a great, this is a great recipe for anyone that are on some diet restrictions or not. So we're just going to put our top back on here. And we're going to turn our oven down because we do not want to burn that mayo or yogurt because then your whole dish is just terrible. So we're going to use some cheese here. You want to make sure you measure your cheese that you don't get too much added fat. So we're doing two third cups here. So since everything has been mixed well, I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. Spread everything out. And we're just going to sprinkle our cheese over the top since everything is nice and bubbly. All that. And we're just going to set that top on there just so we can use the steam to let the cheese melt. And we're going to move it off of our eye of the stove because we definitely do not want anything to burn. Your rice is already done, your chicken is already prepared, your chicken was already cooked inside the can, so you just basically wanted to warm it up and get a little seasoning on it. Your broccoli was already cooked as well, you just wanted to warm it up. So we're just gonna give it just a couple of more minutes. And when you're cooking this rice, you definitely can cook more rice than needed. You can get an airtight freezer container and put it in there to have rice for later on if you wanna use it for later. That way you don't just sit here and keep making little batches of rice instant rice is great frozen you can take it out thaw it out and add all your different things you want to add into it a good thing also is when you're cooking your rice and you're going to freeze it it's good to cook it in low sodium chicken broth because it'll already have that flavor in it and that way when you take it out you want to really add any more seasonings to it because we know we want to cut down on that salt so our chicken divan is ready 
And here's our final product. Isn't that great? Now let's get a plate, because we definitely want to taste it. Let's get some of this cheese on it. Mm, mm. Let's give it a taste. You definitely want to blow it off before you eat it, but of course I love my food steaming hot. Mm. That is so good. So, there you have it. Chicken divan. Very low cost. Healthy, nutritious meal that you can make on a budget. Basically everything you already have on hand. So, I will see you again next week. Same time, same place, different recipe.